What is going on everybody? It's Jacob Jacuzzi here and we are about to talk about FIFA 21. More importantly, talk about why this FIFA 20 game is so bad. I got a list of things here that I want to see in FIFA 21 because this game is just god awful. It's got so many issues. You can see here we're playing FIFA Street or as they call it, like to call it Volta Football uh, and it looks stupid as hell uh, coming from me someone who's playing NHL all the time it looks just like the stupid 3 on 3 pond hockey that they implemented and I absolutely hate it I mean there's just no point to it FIFA Street was beast I love that game it was a lot of fun but it was fun for its own reasons I don't need FIFA Street in FIFA I like that they implemented it I think it's cool all right that's nice nice little extra added feature but it doesn't really give me anything to this game there's a lot of other things missing that they need to fix and we're gonna talk about some of the things that I think should show up in FIFA 21 so I only made a list of 10 things here but uh, let's get started and so the first thing I got is career mode it's downright my favorite mode in FIFA it's a lot of people's favorite mode uh, obviously we know just like NHL they focus on ultimate team in this game but career mode is a lot of fun there's a lot of cool things you can do with it and a lot of things that have a lot of potential if they start focusing on it but of course we know EA Sports and they're only gonna focus on things that give them money so as you guys can see career mode is is garbage I shouldn't say as you guys can see as you guys have definitely played FIFA career mode if you're watching this video you know how many issues it has how many things are missing how many things they haven't changed that they said they would or things that they haven't changed that they should it's it's very broken and even the features they add are broken so we're gonna start off with a better transfer system the transfer system hasn't changed in so long transfer system has been the same stale thing Thing. they've added a few good things like uh, being able to take a certain amount of the players budget and give it to the other team to make it a more attractive deal but the whole system where now you see a little cutscene with the manager and it's like all nice and cool and it's like oh look like we're talking to the real coach and everything yeah that's great but uh, it's not that interesting because it's got like the same two or three pieces of dialogue all the time so I don't understand why they need to add that in if it's so stale why not make it more diverse you know make a little different animations you know maybe different setup it's always the same scene I'm sitting at my desk dude walks in he's like hey heard you want to buy my player and there's always two or three options you can do and that's it nothing else and of course we can uh, still give them players and whatnot but it's so hard to negotiate because the only negotiation you have is over uh, transfer funds you can't offer things like bonuses and whatnot the bonuses are only in the wage descriptions afterwards so it's not that interesting and it's it's just really stale there's so many things they have to add to it that could be so much better what the hell is this stupid freaking little video are you kidding me FIFA this is what you're gonna focus on man so annoying but yeah so transfer systems gotta be revamped gotta add more features gotta be more things that will make it more attractive to us make us want to play the game uh, secondly more dialogue and story so just like we talked about in the transfer system there's a lot of things missing like uh, there's no story involved I'm a manager and it's like great oh cool you got a team and uh, the same text and dialogues you see all the time there's little pop-ups that appear if you sign like cool new players or new things happen that's about it there's nothing else special like it's just dull it's the same career mode we have every year nothing new nothing that we wanted or asked for they did add things like press conferences and whatnot which is like great and all but the pre press conferences are not that interesting because as I said with the transfer system it's the same two or three things all the time and that's not fun uh, and the other thing is they're pretty broken if you guys look at uh, career mode and if you guys have ever played it you know that you can be 27 and 3 and all of a sudden you'll have a coach or uh, some reporter come up to you and be like hey I heard you guys are undefeated how does it feel and you're like what the hell uh, I just lost what are you talking about or you know we lost like two weeks ago what are you talking about but they're like nope 
you heard you're undefeated sounds pretty great man keep up the good work and you're like uh thanks and you could pretty much just say oh yeah we're feeling great oh no we're feeling terrible oh yeah we're feeling okay like same three prompts all the times man i've played that game so much and it's just so boring like i have stopped playing career mode because it's the same crap all the time and i can't have anything new and it really bums me out because there's a lot of fun things that could happen in fifa the other thing would be more customization like if i'm building a team like let me do things like control the kits like give me a chance to change the, the jerseys a little bit every year you know it doesn't have to be major changes but just a little bit of style or whatnot that would be pretty cool Kits change every season, and if I'm going to be a manager and I'm taking over, it'll be nice to be able to have some of those options there. But, you know, who knows if that will ever happen. Second thing, like, what about a stadium? Like, teams change stadiums often. Teams add things to stadiums, make them look cooler. Why not give us that customization? That would be awesome. And then logos. Logos change all the time. This is all about marketing. Trying to make this game more fun for us. Why not give us those options? NBA's got options where you can change a lot of stuff. Not sure if they have uh, stadiums or whatnot. But even in one of your own games like EA Sports uh, Eshul gives you the option to change a lot of that stuff. Why not incorporate things into career mode so it could be more fun for us as a team? There's a lot of games like uh, Eshul, uh, Eshul, NBA that lets you import logos and do a lot of cool stuff. So a lot of this stuff already exists, so why not give it to us? MLB The Show does that too, and I think it's an awesome feature. So, you know, give us that customization. Make it make it a little bit more fun. Make us want to stay in the game and give us features that wanna, want us to keep coming back all the time. And, you know, just update career mode so it's finally a fun game to play. And the last thing I want to talk about in career mode is dynamic potential. I mean, I've played it a long, for a long time already. It seems like dynamic potential doesn't really exist. I could be wrong, but I don't really see it as that pre prevalent. Uh, but, you know, prove me wrong. But then again, it's, it was supposed to be this cool thing where players now have dynamic potential and it's something new. And you never know what the player is going to be like, blah, blah, blah. So who knows? Hopefully they'll fix that dynamic potential stuff so literally any player can be as good as you want, depending on how good that player plays, how good that player does, yada, yada, you know, stuff like that. So I'm not sh quite sure, but we'll see what FIFA does. But there's a lot of things in career mode alone that they could fix. And also, the other two game modes we're going to talk about are Be a Pro and just the gameplay in general. When we look at Be a Pro, there's things that are missing such as a better story. You know, look at NBA or MLB. MLB's got a simpler form of it, but there's at least story involved, you know? And they do so much work to try and improve the story and try and improve the gameplay in MLB. I love it. It's why I play that game, even though baseball is honestly like one of the more boring sports. I play it just because the career modes are fun. Like, I absolutely love football and soccer, whatever the hell you want to call it, but I'm just not interested in playing this game because it's so dull and it's the freaking same as it's always been. There's no features or game modes that make me want to keep coming back to this game. So build us a story similar to NBA 2K. You know, they got a hell of a lot of cutscenes, but they always change the story, you know. Let's you customize shoes, let you get like new things like that. Like that would be cool. Like if you get some kind of endorsement deal from, I don't know, Adidas, and then all of a sudden they're like, hey, we got some shoe models we want you to check out and then possibly customize yourself. What do you think? And if you could be like, oh yeah, that would be awesome, man. Let's do it. Uh, what the hell is this? Free kick? How am I supposed to make this? It's just right, right, right there. Right in her face, knuckleball, bam! Ooh, man, nice try though. Thanks, thanks game. Appreciate you uh, talking about how cool I am. Uh, okay, yeah, but back to the thing. So yeah, NBA's got a great story. It's got a hell of a lot of cutscenes, but uh, it's cool. I'd rather have more cutscenes than not enough, because that's what FIFA's got right now. So definitely add more stuff, more of a story to it. I know they got that Alex Hunter BS, but you know he's one guy that you can't even customize. So uh, great job, EA Sports. That's cool. Uh, but you look at like NBA, you can create any player you want and then customize it from there. You don't have to have some Alex Hunter guy and just run with his story that's so stupid i hate that 
Uh, and then the other thing would be customization, like more things, like let us customize literally everything. You know, the shoes, the the the, the outfit, how your guy looks. Like if you look at MLB, they got a great customization system in their uh, career mode where you could literally change everything on the person's face, everything on that person's body, how, what their bat looks like, what their glove looks like, literally everything. And it's amazing. It's the reason why people play that game. It's the reason why they have so many people buying their game is because they make changes and it's fun mode to play another thing would be cool is something like a neighborhood style in NBA you know let you let your guy like roam around play against other be a pros online you know just figure things out and you can incorporate like a VC system in there if you want to get some money you know that would be really cool you know just pick up FIFA games like you could just go around play some people in vault and get these stupid ass animations and stupid little recordings and then there's some security camera catching it like yeah way to focus on that FIFA beautiful and then finally we're going to talk about gameplay we look at gameplay commentary is one of the big things that i see as an issue it's the same commentary that's always been same two three four guys that commentate nothing new martin tyler andy gray and then some other two guys that i'm forgetting the names of right now you know same commentary that i've heard since like probably fifa 12 and uh martin tyler or andy townsend talking about how he's uh, scoring headers and he's been scoring it since his arsenal days i've heard that quote probably 30 million times and i'm sick of hearing it again so please change up the commentary make it a little interesting you know you added snoop dogg in nhl so maybe either get guest commentators or change up the commentary nba does that they have a random commentator come in sometimes just to make the game more interesting and the commentary flow a little nicer and they change their commentary uh i actually noticed they started talking about random little events like why um uh, uh, Doris Burke started commentating they just have like these little stories in there that really make it feel like this is a real NBA game and like this is really what people talk about and that's what's cool you know that's why people play that game because it's new it's got new flavor all the time and they really focus on their game which is amazing uh, so the other thing like I've been saying since the beginning game feels the same the gameplay doesn't really feel that different they change little things here and there and we're gonna finally round it out with this game is too easy like I said the gameplay has been the same all the time there's nothing you need to adjust to so it's really easy to be good at this game it's really easy to just own teams if you want to and if you're a FIFA Ultimate Team fan, you know, all the kind of features to get used to it takes like a week. And then you're all good. And then you can just own people like you've been owning for your whole life. And make money playing FIFA and give them all your money. Because that's what they want you to do. Is they want you to play Ultimate Team, pound all your money into this game, opening packs. And then be garbage for the rest of your life, you know. Why have some fun single player career modes? They don't make money. Well, I don't know. Build off a model like NBA. NBA gives you the chance to make money and play career mode or be a pro mode and still have a monetization system built in there i don't understand why fifa can't do the same thing it would be a great great feature to have for them you know just you know build some kind of virtual currency in there so if you want to buy new stuff you can and it'll be that easy you know just be like hey I want to buy uh, some new shoes and if I want to buy new shoes that will improve my speed I can but you know that's probably never gonna happen FIFA just gonna be like no we're just gonna keep the same gameplay we've had all along and be dumb so all in all FIFA 21's gotta have a lot of new features in order for this game to be better FIFA 20 as a lot of people have been saying is probably the worst FIFA I've ever played it's the first time that I've actually stopped playing FIFA and it's really making me consider if I should get the next FIFA game because of how bad this one was so I really gotta see EA Sports make some changes otherwise this might be the last FIFA game I play and might even go to Pez you never know <laughs> it might be that bad and we might be that desperate for a good football game but we might never know we'll see what happens we'll see if ea decides to make some changes and i will see you guys in the next video so thank you for watching please like subscribe comment your thoughts what would you like to see in ea sports next rendition of fifa what's wrong with the current version of fifa and i appreciate you guys taking out the time and we finish out this video with a goal and I'll see you all in the next video. See you, everybody.